During CitizenCon this year, some of the Star Citizen developers shared more information about resource management, and specifically, what to expect from life support aboard ships in the game. But naturally, with the risk of in-game suffocation, many players will surely just wear a spacesuit all the time. Well, maybe. I'm Farrister, and in this video we'll put on our speculation hats and explore some of the possible answers to that question. This channel regularly hosts Star Citizen videos, ranging from guides to in-game ship reviews, so if that sounds appealing to you, you might like to press the subscribe button to be notified of future videos as they go live. So the information at CitizenCon talked about life support aboard a ship being finite, meaning the systems can only support so much heating and cooling or oxygen before the player saturates the environment and are no longer able to stay alive. There could be some gameplay about monitoring and managing life support such that the capacity can be stretched somewhat, but eventually it becomes too inhospitable, characters will become incapacitated or worse. Likewise for if your ship takes damage or is sabotaged. So that means surely you just wear a spacesuit, right? Well maybe yes, real astronauts do wear a spacesuit for the high risk takeoff and recovery, and aboard many naval warships during action stations, sailors wear special fireproof suits in case of damage. So perhaps things could work out similarly in Star Citizen, with players maybe wearing an undersuit and having a helmet clipped to their waist during high risk operations in case of atmospheric issues. But being fully suited might not be the best option for every scenario. Firstly, it's necessary to remove your helmet at the very least to eat and drink, which needs to happen from time to time, but it's also possible that the same resource requirements also apply to spacesuits, meaning you don't get infinite oxygen or cooling. To some extent that's already the case in the game, but the suit regenerates when you're in an atmosphere, including aboard a ship. But perhaps suits become more isolated, so you have to plug them in from time to time to recharge them, making life support gameplay from time to time somewhat necessary. It might also give a purpose to the many ships that have dedicated storage cupboards for armour and spacesuits. It's also possible that there could be advantages to wearing loose clothes, in being able to get from A to B more quickly. It's certainly not too much of a stretch to accept that heavier armour makes your character slower, in which case, especially on larger ships like capitals, wearing loose clothes could make a big difference for how quickly you could traverse across the ship. It could also be possible that some armour combinations impact the player ability to man some stations. Anybody who's ever got aboard a vehicle in real life while wearing a full body armour and a helmet will know that some seating positions end up very tight, so it's possible that this could be artificially introduced as a gameplay mechanic, where for example some crew stations might only be accessible with fairly lightweight outfits on. Ultimately, it's probably too early to say for sure, whether we will see people wearing spacesuits all the time, whether there will be an advantage to encourage players to wear clothes from time to time, or whether we see something that varies from ship to ship. It's certainly true that Star Citizen looks to capture an immersive experience, and with many of the crew of the Warhammer on the Javelin Tour wearing regular military outfits, it's not too much of a stretch to imagine systems developed to encourage that. Either way, the resource management gameplay seems like it could be really interesting, and personally one I'm excited to see in-game in the future. Hopefully this has been an interesting exploration on the topic of resource management, if so, please do press that like button to let me know it was helpful, and leave a comment as to what you'd like to see for life support in-game. As ever, this has been a speculation video, so I'm not promising this will be what we get in the game, just an exploration of some of the possible ideas. But otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.